Hello everybody and welcome back to Carrier Family Farms and welcome to Harvest, uh, Harvest 2024. So behind us we're shaking some Howards and right now that's our first indicator of what the crop is going to look like. Um, Howards are big enough volume in the industry in the state um, to give us a little bit more information, a little bit more insight of how the crop is looking to be developing. Um, so far it seems pretty on par with what we saw off the NAS estimate. Um, Howards seem to be kind of average if not slightly, uh, slightly below average from last year. Um, but we're really worried more about the Chandler volume. Um, Chandler seem to be uh, much lighter than the Howards as far as volume in the trees. So we're a little bit concerned um, what we're gonna have come harvest of Chandler timing. Um, quality though, however, is looking great. Uh, pretty similar to last year. We're not too worried about color. Um, any sun issues uh, kind of have been mowed up. So we saw some early heat uh, and those walnuts that were damaged essentially fell off the tree. Um, and, and have now been mowed into the orchard. So quality is gonna be great from California again this year. Um, the real question is the volume that we're gonna receive. We are looking forward at a couple things. Uh, one concern we have is a potential port strike on the east coast of the United States as well as the Gulf. Um, so that doesn't really affect California as much or as direct, but we do expect to see a lot of shipments uh, moved from the east coast to California, uh, eventually creating a backlog. We'll know more around October 1st if this does come into effect. Um, from there, we do expect uh, about a three-day window of a full strike. And then we expect our government to step in and say, no, we need this functioning. We need everyone back to work. It'll be a slow, steady start back up. Um, but it, it is something we are actively monitoring. If you're looking for Christmas shipments, we got to get those out early or we could have a potential to miss that window. In addition to what we're seeing here as, as far as a light crop, we are seeing quite a bit of demand from the buying community as well. Um, so we are worried we're gonna see prices kind of firm as we move forward um, and keep progressing into harvest and as we see those Chandlers come in. Um, essentially right now we have a lot of demand out the gate and we're a little bit cautious as an industry to put offers on the table um, because we do expect things to firm um, just given the supply and demand that we're, that we're forecasting at the moment. So until then, um, we're gonna see a lot of quietness and cautiousness from the California suppliers. Um, we will get to market, uh, but it's gonna take us some time. We as far as Chile, Chile seems to be very well sold. Um, so that's really opened up the inshell market for us. Uh, India is actively buying. We know India is hungry for good quality uh, walnuts, and the only source right now is California for them. Um, that has kind of set the stage for the market, and we're playing off that at the moment um, until we see more inventory come in from the orchards. China is also actively uh, marketing their crop right now. Their prices are lower than the U.S. as expected, uh, but we do expect them to kind of firm their prices in response to what California is seeing here. So at the moment, we ultimately see a really open pipeline for California walnuts into the export market, into the U.S. market as well. Um, and we're really set up for a much more positive year for the growers than what we've seen in the past three to four. We expect prompt shipments to be um, desired out of the gate, and we expect to see this demand continue through uh, the new year as well. Those of you attending Seattle, we would love to have you stop by our booth and say hi, or reach out early and set up a meeting. Um, we look forward to seeing everybody there. If any of you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.